The Bible has told us 366 times it is found in Scripture, fear not, fear not, for I am with you, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not. And they were afraid to join the movement of the Holy Ghost because they didn't want to get put out of something. What is it that you are afraid of? Afraid of launching out and starting your own business, just fear. Afraid to give your heart to somebody, afraid to trust that somebody's going to hurt you again. And it is your fear of being hurt that keeps you from being loved. What is your fear keeping you from? Fear will keep you from things that could bless your life. Fear will keep you from something that can liberate you. Fear, just afraid in God, has already told us, fear not. He told us in, in, in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 that he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind and so don't let anybody trick you out of your blessing now here's the lesson that you ought to learn from this never let your fear outweigh your faith never let your fear outweigh your faith now let me tell you here that the people who were blessed by the apostles notice they esteemed them highly the folks that were really blessed by the apostles they esteemed the apostles highly because whenever you esteem a person highly, it puts you in a position where you are qualified to receive blessings from their life. Here's the principle, that the anointing that you respect is the anointing that increases in your life. The anointing that you respect is the anointing that increases in your life. If a person loses respect, they also lose uh, effect. If folks no longer respect you, you, you lose the ability to affect their life in a positive way. If they no longer respect you, if you lose respect, you also lose effect. But the folks highly esteemed the apostles here. You have the ability, hear me carefully, to create through its proper esteem or honor what you cannot create through intelligence. You have the ability to create just through esteem what you cannot create through your own intelligence and if you succeed in life it is because of somebody that you chose to esteem and if you fail in life you can trace the failure of every recalcitrant contumacious and rebellious iconoclastic life you can trace it back to somebody that they failed to highly esteem and honor and that dishonor and their disrespect let me just say this to you. Dishonor and disrespect are the seed for tragedy and loss in your life. Whenever you find somebody sassing and talking back to their mama, they are just paid a road toward destruction in their future. Are you listening? When you step into dishonor, if you dishonor a father, if you dishonor a teacher, if you dishonor a person that has authority in your life legitimately, then you are sowing seeds of tragedy and loss in your life. When you honor, honor is the seed to blessing. And this is why the very first commandment that came with promise was honor your mother and your father so that you will get the blessing of long life and that it would be well with you. And so they esteemed the apostles highly and they were blessed by them. They were healed. They were delivered. They were set free because they had an honor and an esteem. It's hard for people to bless you when you don't respect them. When you don't respect a person, you don't listen to them any longer. I want you to notice something here in verse 15. So they brought the sick out into the street and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them. Now notice this. They put them out on stretches so that at least the shadow of Peter might fall on them. We're talking about the shadow of the righteous. Shadow of the righteous. Notice here, a shadow is made by an image standing in light. There must be light and there must be an image standing in the light that then casts a shadow. 